comedian Kostaki Economopoulos with our NFL report. Hey, Kostaki, how are you? I'm good. Good morning, Gus. Morning. Hello, Kostaki. Uh, where are you today? I am in uh, sunny Los Angeles. It's not sunny yet, but later it'll be sunnier. Well, yeah. So you're not near the fires. No, no, we're we're safe. We're Good. we're in the middle of the big 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 city, so where most of the fires are on the perimeter of everything. Yeah. Did you uh, did you by the way watch uh, last evening's NFL extravaganza featuring two of the worst teams in the uh, sport? I did. You know, you, you can't you can't fire Eli yet. He's all he's he's he, he's all right. Come back, kid, huh? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I liked it. I had a few beers. I had I had a very uh, gender divided uh, evening. We were at the um, we we're at the Grove, which is an outdoor kind of fancy pants mall area, and my kids and wife and mother in law were shopping, and they left me at the bar to drink beer and watch football. <laughs> it, was nice. really, it was really great. <laughs> yeah, oh, good. That sounds like fun. What else is going on in the world of the NFL? Well, Sunday was tough because uh, I don't know if you saw the Falcons lost to the Browns. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What do the Falcons and Le'Veon Bell have in common, you ask? Neither are showing up this year. That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Le'Ve Le'Veon should sign with Philadelphia. What better place for a bell that doesn't work? Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> quick Liberty Bell joke, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> very, very nice. The nice. Falcons. Oh, my goodness. It's my fault. It's karma for the hundreds of Brown jokes I've done the last few <laughs> years. Yes, there you go. There you, go. <laughs> you know, when your team loses to an underdog, it's an upset. When your team loses to the Browns, it's just upsetting. It's, <laughs> yeah. It hurts. You know, they're, they're, good. they're good this year. They're, they're coming they're, back. They're definitely turned the boat around. They're, they're going the right direction. They're, they're one of my favorite teams, actually. I'm, I'm rooting for the Browns. They've had such a rough run. The Falcons, are I mean, they're the most disappointing thing out of Atlanta since New Coke. This team is brutal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People prefer Ted Turner colorizing classic <laughs> movies to this team. <laughs> Another Atlanta reference. For <laughs> <laughs> what was New Coke? Was that 85-ish? Was wow, that what it was? Like, good I question. I don't know the answer. I can look it up. It it's been a while. Yeah. One, a very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the Falcons are just terrible converting in the red zone. What's the lower conversion percentage? Conversion therapy or Falcons from the one? These are <laughs> <laughs> the answer is a tie because it's zero. Ah. <laughs> New Coke ninety two. No, was it ninety two? Wow, yeah, I thought it was right. earlier than that. Wow. So yeah, so did I. Earlier. Uh, by the way, uh, Kostaki Economopoulos coming up. Oh, this no, I'm sorry. You're right. April of 85. They okay. replaced it in 92. Okay. Thank yeah. you. That feels better. It took seven years to fix that? I thought it was, I a, was it, if, if it was, a, when did it come out again? 85? Yeah. Because wasn't it a punchline by 86? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. And, and once again, by the way, revitalized as a punchline in yes. 2018. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean it that way, Kostaki. Kostaki, this uh, uh, Friday, Farmington, New Mexico, at a place called No Worries. And then Saturday the 17th, Durango, Colorado oh, at the Henry Strader. Place. And then November 29th through the first Peoria at the legendary Jukebox Comedy Club with Kostaki. Love that Bob. place. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, Chick McGee has rejoined us in the studio. Uh, Redskins win, but Chick wasn't very happy about it. Oh, it was a mess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tampa Bay almost, uh, what, 400 yards of total offense and only scoring. They couldn't score, though. <laughs> what a yeah, crazy they, game. They kicked a field goal and a lot of turnovers, right? Yeah, that was a nutty one. Wait, wait, I got to go back a second. Did I just catch hell from Tom for doing an old reference? Is that what here on the show? Oh, yeah. oh he, 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 he does it all the time, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the oh, next thing goodness. out of his mouth, there'll be, uh, you know, Walter Winchell is right. in the news. Because Doc, do as Tom says, not as Tom do. Yeah. I, I was yeah. yesterday referencing uh, the great Jim Brown, uh, Gary Collins, Dick Schaffer. The 1964 <laughs> NFL championship team. The Cleveland Brown. It. Jim Brown, greatest football player ever down the pads. Sorry, oh, back great. to you, Kostaki. Uh, Julio Jones got to 10,000 receiving yards faster than any player in NFL history. Uh, you know how he got there so fast. He didn't have to stop much for touchdown celebrations. That's why. He's not, oh, well. He doesn't score. It's a crazy <laughs> outlier, this guy. Uh, the Steelers beat the Panthers so bad, Cam Newton lost two hat sizes. That's, oh. that's, that's a beating. <laughs> now, do you want to tell Kostaki about your Cam Newton episode? Uh, Cam, uh, yeah, we uh, we did a, when he lost, I forget who the Cam Newton, uh, the Cam Newton train was derailed by, but he 
Typically, Kostaki, I think you can back me up with this opinion. He, <laughs> he folds up if he's behind, if he's uh, not doing playing very well. He just gets moody and awful and distant and won't. Uh, he walked out of a press conference. He so I said Cam Newton right. folds like a fill in the blank on Twitter, <laughs> and we've got we got several. I think that my my favorite one was Greg Warren sent us uh, Cam Newton folds like a folder. Oh, very, very good, Greg. Yeah. Good way job. To play along. Good job, Greg. Wow. Way, to, way to not mail it in. Yeah. Good job. Kostaki, you won't get this, but I have the following the following yeah. comment. Turducken. Okay. Yeah. I'll explain that to you off the air. Okay. Oh, you know what? I have sh- I've been following you on Twitter. I get that reference. Okay, right. yeah, you don't want to hear that during your broadcast segment, Kostaki. No, fair. Uh, that's a goal. Yeah. So then this past weekend, we had Cody Parkey, the kicker for the Bears, who not only missed, uh, I don't know, I forget how many kicks. but Six, was it? Uh, so, but he... He hit the he oh. hit one of the uprights left or right four different times. Four, four. four. It was a man you know, hit hit the pipe. You're a football nerd. Hitting it twice would be like one in a million. It's right? amazing. I know, it's never happened before and won't ever happen again. Four times. Yeah, it, it killed me. The guy on NFL Red Zone said he couldn't hit the uprights four times again if they paid him to do it. Well, obviously they were paying him to hit anywhere between the uprights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they oh, couldn't gosh. do that, which seems incredibly easy you compared gotta, to what he was doing. <laughs> yes. you got to feel bad for the guy. I do. That's brutal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you do that. That's so crazy. we thought, well, not uh, even get one country club bounce through the uprights. That's kind of bad. <laughs> right. All four were rejected. Yeah. Right. Cody Parkey <laughs> hits the pipe like uh, Richard Pryor, stuff like that, oh. you know, and, and we we left it up to. <laughs> yeah. We left it. That wasn't, that wasn't, <laughs> what was the really, that was one that was really good. Uh, hits the poles like Germany in 1930. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hits oh, the poles goodness. like Germany. Right. Was it was it 39? Yeah. Something oh, like the. Um, yeah. I'm not sure the yeah. date on that one, but. Uh, oh yeah, but I can't do a uh, new coat comedy. That's uh, that's <laughs> that's the rule here. No, it's, it's, it's far too topical. <laughs> <laughs> you got any Armistice Day material? <laughs> Hundred years. There were- there were a lot of blowouts that in this this weekend. That more blowouts in a Beverly Hills hair salon. <laughs> that is a lot. That's a blowout. Nice. You see, they blow up their hair. The ladies, you see, Kostaki's gone like- Hollywood on us. Yes, he has. <laughs> Here's a dark one for you. The Jets look so bad, the ghost of John Denver wants to fly them. That's that's bad. Wow. <laughs> that is, holy moly. That's, that's oh, a that. bad jet right there. Yeah. All right. Ooh, ooh. Dark, dark Beng- indeed. Yeah. The, Bengals, <laughs> the Bengals were rudely stopped by the Saints, which I believe will be Pat Robertson's punishment in hell. I'm just guessing. <laughs> stomped by Saints. <laughs> uh, Tyreek Hill got a flag for using a TV camera as a prop. Why, why can't we have penalties for using props in stand-up? I think that would be fair, right? <laughs> mm, you pull out Easter now. grass on stage. That's a 15-minute penalty. Oh. I'm looking at you, Bob Zaney. Oh. <laughs> I know. I love that, that I love that prop joke. Man. I do, too. Yeah. I'm a yeah. sucker for it. And I giggle guy. like a schoolgirl. Yes. <laughs> I love Zadie, but I'm like, what are you, why are you why are you packing things for a 15 yes. second joke? He what has many doing? suitcases. I, I still think one of the funniest jokes I think ever on the Tonight Show was when Gary Shandling walked out the first time, and I, I can't deliver it as, the way he did, but he goes, "Hey, have you been to the bank? Got one of these free pens?" And he pulls a pen out with one of those chains. On it. <laughs> yeah. that's, just, that's just great stuff. How can you not laugh at that? <laughs> Well, you know, I Karen Top might be one of the most maligned comics of all He's time. He's great. But that guy tears the roof off the yeah, place. His he act is, is great. He is really funny. Yeah. He's, and when he's not doing prop stuff, he's still really funny. Yeah, he's been in, here, <laughs> been in here several times. It's there's a whole thing. It's like the when people were all over Dane Cook or Nickelback. It's, right. They, right. they get this for, they they don't even know what they're talking about. They've never even heard them, and they jump on them. Yeah, like, yeah. Like that comedian, like that success, comedian right. Han- love Hamburger. We jumped on him. Hamburger. And we heard some of Come hamburger. on, that's fun to say. Oh. Hamburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, I love that clip from that guy. He's hilarious. <laughs> Got to get him in here. Hamburger. <laughs> he did a taping when I was a writer at uh, BET's Comic View. He did, what a, you know, it's like a nine-minute set. He must have said Hamburger 50 times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Now, hamburger. Um, when you worked at BET, were you allowed to gamble on the games? Oh, what? What? 
Huh? What? I don't. Oh, get and, 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 I don't get it. And like, you can't, uh, Kasaki. You can't see Tom. Oh, he's, bet. He's, he's chuckling. chuckling. <laughs> yeah, he I thought, get it now. He, yeah, he thinks you thought you thought you were going to. I was going to go the different route. You were working at BET. I okay, sir. <laughs> I did. I was confused. There was no hats, reference hats, to my hats, whiteness. Hats off to Donnie Baker on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Kostaki, uh, what else is happening in the NFL? Uh, Joe missed? Flacco might need surgery on his hip. Same with my aunt. Wait, how old is Joe Flacco? What's <laughs> happening? Is he gonna is he gonna be out six weeks eating cream of wheat and watching Matlock and then it'll be fine? Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just wait. What's One happening? of these days, Kostaki will be in an adult diaper on the phone. There's a second guy. <laughs> This used to be funny. I appreciate the idea of me being on this show that long. Let's, let's do it. I'll do some old references. I, I've got around. girls to put through college. <laughs> I'm, right. not going, I'm not true. going anywhere. Kostaki, I'll let you on. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <gone. laughs> nice. Wow. Thank you, Josh. Uh, the, the Titans made a statement in their win over the Patriots I saw in, in the paper. I'm like, and that statement was, we would like to lose to the Chiefs in the first round of the playoffs. So that, that could be us. That would be great. Uh, Tennessee Titan Kevin Baird was fined $10,026 for stomping on the Cowboys' midfield star. <laughs> first of all, that's a very specific number. What bizarro <laughs> table are they using? Yeah, we've talked this about out? this before. They, 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 they prorate the contract or something. That's how they come it's, up with a specific uh, Is that number. the answer? Yes, that's the answer. Christine. It's the player's contract? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Yes. I don't know if you heard Chick condescending. <laughs> 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 I only know this because I uh, piped up about that one morning, and Tom meant and replied to me in the same manner. Oh, they just take their contract and prorate it, you stupid idiot. So I honestly didn't know that. Is that really the answer? I'm, Did you know that, Kostaki, there's a certain country, I think it's, is it Norway? Where if you get a speeding ticket, it's based on your income. Oh, oh I love that. It. Norway, is that true? <laughs> yeah, which is, yeah. The, uh, maybe Dean will know this. What's the country? No where way, the, Norway. <laughs> is that true? What's the, who's the guy that developed the phone that was from Norway? I'm forgetting his name. The Nokia guy? Yeah. yeah. Arthur, Arthur Nokia. And he got a, he got a fine for like 300,000 bucks mm. for speeding or something. Yeah. That's yeah. great. It's based yeah, I like on, of course you'd love that being a card carrying socialist. I'm surprised. <laughs> that's not that's not socialist. How's the how's the how's the that's how's capitalism. how's the that's gray all the all gray socialism. family? <laughs> What's <laughs> mine is yours. I'm sorry, ma'am. Here, take my stroller. <laughs> that's a ridiculous <laughs> argument. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there was another fine. Michael Thomas got fined thirty grand for his cell phone celebration. That those are that's a serious roaming charge. There, he was really <laughs> out of network. Thirty k. I hope she really talked dirty to him. It's oh, a pricey call. <laughs> I think I, lo I love those celebrations. I, I don't. I don't like the one where they do this squatting. That seems to me to be a little vulgar. But oh, pretending to yeah, poop on the field. Yeah, really. Well, that was that's an outlier. You think yeah. that's vulgar? You yes, don't I do. giggle that's, a little bit. It does bit. make me a little no. sad. He doesn't like it because I, one of those players, they really think they're going after the Tom Griswolds of the world. With oh, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And here he is. Uh, once again, I've been scatological humor on miscast you. Yeah. in this. <laughs> have you? Uh, <laughs> by the way. Uh, Coming up, we have our, coming up, we have a request for the song Cleveland Steamer. Uh -huh. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry. Back to you, Kostaki. Uh, Des Bryant signed with the Saints, tore his Achilles in the first practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That is, now, do they, so they've got to pay him for the whole season, then he's a free agent again, right? I, I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't think he's going to come back, but he could. Yeah. That's just Des still had a better day than Matt Ryan. At least Des was on a winning team this weekend. <laughs> I, I thought Des Bryant's Achilles heel was his mouth, but no. <laughs> it's his Achilles. <laughs> it's his Achilles. Who knew? I like to, I like to call it Achilles. Do you? Yeah, that just sounds. Oh, Achilles instead of Achilles? I think, I, Achilles, when you, remember when you were a kid? Remember when you were a kid and you'd be reading whatever and you'd, you'd come downstairs? Hey, Dad, I'm reading this really cool story of Achilles. <laughs> oh, that's pronounced Achilles. And you go, this, this, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, this it's language Achilles. is impossible. This language yeah, is impossible. Mm -hmm. yeah, are you, you're going through this with one of your daughters right now, and you try to explain all these weird things that you, it, 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 it's, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. But Achilles the, doesn't Achilles sound like a bigger badass than Achilles? Not, no, 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 <laughs> not at all. Yeah, no, I like the strong. I like the strong. Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Yeah. Achilles. It's got kill in it. No, no, no. Yes. no. Achilles is tough. Achilles plays the cello. So instead of admitting yes. that you were wrong, I'm defending. You want to have everybody call it Achilles? 
No, I'm just saying if I were, if I'd been the one doing the pronunciating, um, to, quote, wow. to quote W. Nice. Okay. Okay. Here's a, here's an example here. A Finnish oh, businessman Lord. named, ooh, well, this is an unfortunate name, Rima. Yikes. That must be a long U. Let's hope it is uh, uh, Q Isla. <laughs> Um, was caught going 65 miles an hour in a 50 zone in his home country. Uh, in most countries, that would cost a couple hundred bucks. Finnish police pulled him over and charged him $54,000. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, it's based on your income. Because he's a billionaire? Yeah, That's he, great. Well, yeah, he's a Nokia executive. He earns $6.5 million a year. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, that's I'm sorry, <laughs> I had the number wrong. In in in, in American dollars, it's 103 grand. Wow. Okay, that's That'd only be... 15 over though. It's not even a real speeding situation. <laughs> no. Like 100. And yeah, a... for 103, you should be you know, God, <laughs> you should be going 200 miles an hour right. through Man. a heavily populated like a Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Well, that's. I like the concept, though. I can't believe. Of course, you do. What's what's that's... naturally uh, <laughs> take your income, take all of it away, and then give that's the rest the to somebody point. else. <laughs> it's a percentage. <laughs> yep, that's what it is, all right. <laughs> so, would that apply to everything, Kostaki? So, you go out to dinner. Well, your cheeseburger. I'm sorry, yours is a twelve ninety five. Yours is eighty thousand. And uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, but you. If the if the goal is to disincentivize speeding. You know, forty bucks ain't gonna stop a guy who makes six point five million. That's all I'm saying. No, I, no, no see, I believe uh, conversely that you should uh, take the guy and flog him publicly if he does it more than once. Um, <laughs> yeah. Speeding, yeah. flogging. It's embarrassing. Okay. It's painful. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right there on the ace. <laughs> <laughs>